one thing that is easing the stress is my wife. We just don't know how we do it, but we survive. If I'm to put all the loans together, I have about 39,000 cities. When you come in contact with the kids, they make you forget whatever you're going through. A popular African saying goes, a teacher's reward is in heaven. The saying holds a lot of truth because although teaching is an essential profession, many teachers receive inadequate pay. For the past 12 years, Moses Ayi has been instructing junior high school students in a public school in Pobikope. He is extremely passionate about his work and despite his meager pay, he has no plans to pursue any other line of work. I've been teaching for 12 years. It's my passion. It was okay when I started. Um, especially when I was single, the money that was coming was um, enough to take care of me and even my mom. Moses gets paid 2,500 CDs per month. However, 1,000 CDs is taken out of his paycheck to pay off debt. His wife, mother, and four children all depend on his monthly balance of 1,500 CDs. If I'm to put all the loans together, um, let's see, I have about 39,000 CDs. 39,000 CDs to pay. So the one at Controller is deducting around 715 or so, and the one with my bag is deducting 300 Ghana CDs, making SE 1,000, yeah, around 1,000. But he is struggling because of the state of the economy. Each day, Moses spends 50 cities for food and transportation. His pay is gone even before he considers his other responsibilities. I used to spend five cities on food. But now five cities cannot buy that, that, the, the, the amount that I used to buy due to increase of prices and those stuff. Normally, I buy, let's say, Kinky, kinky and fish. So let's say kinky two CDs, fish three CDs, making five CDs. Then this one is aside water because water uh, 20 pesos. But now um, the five CDs cannot buy the kinky that I used to buy. So you need at least let's say seven CDs. But for my side, I have to regulate the way I spend, especially on feeding. Moses says his wife, who is a nurse, supports him fully. He says she's aware of his financial situation and is entirely behind him. For him, without his wife's help, he would have died trying to survive. The only thing I take consolation from is to have a woman that understands me. Because if I was married to a woman that doesn't understand the situation at hand, let's see by now, the stress that I'm going through would have even killed me by now. Because um, it's not easy as I'm talking to you. It's not easy at all. His colleague, Ernestina, teaches RME and English at a public school at Amasama. Ernestina teaches more than 300 students every term. She is married with a son and lives in a rented apartment. She says, apart from her family, interacting with her students is always the highlight of her day. It's, it's, it's not been smooth and it's not been rough. When you come in contact with the kids, 
they make you forget whatever you're going through. Yes. They will make some funny things that will make you laugh out, that will make you feel good. But Anastina's smile fades while trying to explain her predicament as a teacher. She earns 1,800 CDs a month, but is paying off loans. So, at the end of every month, her disposable income is 600 CDs. It's funny how we do it, but you manage. But these loans you take, what is it for? There's nothing you, you, you can do without a loan. Personal I did to pay for my rent and then my school my kids' school fees. Mm. I pay like eight eight twenty nine hundred a month as loan. Every month as yeah. And yeah. that is taken out of your salary every yes. month. Yes. Well this money is used to pay for meals, childcare, transportation, home maintenance, and caring for her mother. We just don't know how we do it. But we survive. Cause after whatever is taken out TNT hasn't been taken up. And then, gone were the days when TNT was two cities on the same salary. Now TNT is four cities on the same salary. Mm. Yeah. Food staff have been increased on the same salary. Diapers have been increased on the same salary. Maybe food, yes. And fortunately for me, I'm a local girl, so I, I do local food for my son. She however beams with smiles when she shifted the conversation to her students. We get our inspiration from the kids. That's, that's all I, I, I'll, I'll keep saying. You come, they greet you every morning. Some salute you every morning. So, hey madam, today you're looking nice. So, hey madam, you see? I mean, they make you forget whatever you go through. And it's the love of their work. The stories of Moses and Anastina reflect why teacher unions have been agitating for cost of living allowance, COLA. Teacher unions, particularly Nagrat and Nat, say although 20% of their salary as COLA is small, it will provide some relief. COLA, when it's given, it will ease the stress on me because even if 20% is given, at least I know if I'm not getting at all, I'll get around, let's say, 200 to 400 Ghana cities. At least it will be able to cater for my transportation. You, you, you will see that the 20% we are even asking for is nothing much. We just need a support system so the budget is rich. That is all we are asking for. I went home last weekend told my mom I had no money. She was asking for money. I told her, I have no money. You know what she said? And I'll quote him, she, hey, in Abosumi, in Edri, say, Awuniska. She just doesn't understand, understand why I should say I don't have money at that time of the month. <laughs>